Welcome to the first episode of podcast with Dragon M and well I wasn't sure about what to make this on so I realized I should make it up something I like and from the title you can see it's about Star Wars or rather how I got into Star Wars and spoilers this wasn't as generic as you might think Now I'm a huge fan of Star Wars, but back in 2007-8, I was just a kid who didn't even knew about Star Wars. Like Star Wars was something for the cool kids, and I wasn't that cool, so I didn't know about Star Wars. One day I came back from school and I didn't have homework, so I turned on the TV and was watching a show where a guy with blue sword, a bunch of soldiers, and a young girl were all fighting a battle. I watched the episode completely and was interested for the next one to come, which was a week later. And I watched the next episode and the next episode and eventually I realized it's been two years and I have been watching this show. And I've got into this show so much that I started buying action figures of Star Wars. And this show was Clone Wars 2008. And then after that, I realized I should watch the movies because there are six Star Wars movies at that point of time. And I requested my father to give me or buy me the Star Wars movies. And when I realized there are six movies and I couldn't buy them all at a time, I was pretty disheartened. So that Christmas... I bought the prequel trilogy and I loved it. My only gripe back then was I got in love with Anakin, Ahsoka and Rex. Rex and Ahsoka were not in the movies, which I was like, come on, they're like good characters, why aren't they in the movies? Now I was a kid so I didn't know that which release when and I didn't have that much logical thinking. So I was kinda sad but I did enjoy the prequels. My favorite Star Wars movie at that time was Revenge of the Sith because after Clone Wars Revenge of the Sith was absolutely the next thing that happens in the timeline. It was 2012 when I finally got to buy the original trilogy and I watched them. I loved them even more. And I started buying more action figures. Now, that's how my Star Wars journey started. I was so happy to finally watch all the movies. I have like watched each of those movies, I don't know, five, six times. I was enjoying the original trilogy and the prequels so much. But suddenly, Disney entered the chat. Lucasfilm was bought by Disney and Clone Wars was cancelled. And I was like so sad. I was more sad about the action figures which I bought and some of those became so rare that I couldn't find. So I was more sad about that but still and you know many fans have their own head cannon, and I did have my own head cannon. So I had my own Star Wars universe and I started making stop motion videos. Now my stop motions were not that good because I used to record it on a pretty shitty phone but still. That was Star Wars to me. And then when Netflix came into the picture, when Disney finally decided to air season 6 for the Clone Wars, I didn't have the money to pay for Netflix subscriptions. And Netflix, you know there are some not so good thing for kids. And it was 2016, I think. I was 16 and I don't have the money to buy Netflix, so I didn't bought it. Didn't watch Clone Wars season 6. Clone Wars was cancelled, but... Still, there was a little bit of hope. Rebels was announced shortly. I do remember watching. I do remember coming back from school and watching Disney or Disney XD on TV. And I really liked Rebels. And and finally, in the season 2 of Rebels, I remember Rex and Ahsoka shows up. I felt like those are the happiest moments. It felt like some... Some of my cousins or relatives came to my home after a long time because I like those characters so much. So Star Wars to me is always like how good the characters are, how I feel for the characters and damn that was a great time for me. I'm pretty sure this is not my only story, many fans feel the same. After finally waiting to get to watch Star Wars until 2018 when season 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 1, all of them were released on Disney Plus and I had Disney Plus subscription so finally I got to see Clone Wars season 6 in 2018. Now my only sadness was I couldn't enjoy the Star Wars movies in the theater cause I wasn't born during the original trilogy and I was very young during the prequels. 
I wasn't even born when the first prequel came out, so I didn't have the opportunity to go and watch those movies in theater. But then Star Wars The Force Awakens was announced by Disney and it was going to be released in theater and I was very excited to finally watch a Star Wars movie that also in theater and the movie blew my mind. Really, I had no problem with the movie. Many people would say it's copy of New Hope, but I don't care as long as the movie is good. And I did enjoy it quite a bit. I was happy enough with The Force Awakens that I booked my show when the tickets sell went live for The Last Jedi. With the movie, I didn't like that much. As a Star Wars movie, it does something which it shouldn't have done, but still it tried something new. Unlike Force Awakens, which is just a copy and... Yes, I am contradicting myself because I just said I liked Force Awakens but it was when it released and now after a few years when watching Force Awakens I felt like JJ Abrams played a little too safe. The movie doesn't do anything new. The plot points are completely same as New Hope. Well there are certain new things but definitely it was a remake of New Hope. But TLJ did something different, some good, some not so good, and some absolutely worse. Now if you watch my other videos, you know that I absolutely hate The Last Jedi. But still it was okay, Star Wars wasn't as bad or as effed up as it is now. So I was still buying action figures. Now Star Wars is something which make me lose so much money cause I bought action figures of those and maybe I was crazy but I don't know. Now for me the original trilogy is absolutely best but the prequel trilogy is something that is very close to my heart not because the prequels are good but because the time period is very fleshed out. We got Clone Wars, we got Rebels. Now this shows which I am very much a fan of. I like the prequels more than many other people could have. Now people realize that the prequel trilogy wasn't as bad as it was when it released but that's all because of Clone Wars and Rebels. Now yes I know Tartowski Clone Wars is something which many people liked but I haven't watched those until the last few years. So for me my favorite Star Wars related stuff has to be the Clone Wars 2008. I see many people on Twitter point out this is just a child's show. Well it may be but it does have a story and Star Wars or any movie in general should have a good story and Clone Wars does have a good story. The more I talk the more this video becomes like me praising Clone Wars. I just wanted to share my thoughts now. Well if you are listening to this for this long when I like this and subscribe. I will definitely put up another video you should consider subscribing. If you are watching me on YouTube. Comment me down below about how you got into Star Wars or if you are hearing this on some other site, share your thoughts. I don't know how to share. I don't know. How, I don't even know how I'm going to upload this or not. All I know is I have been talking for the last 10 or so minutes. So that's it for today's episode and hope to meet you in future. Till then, stay tuned.